Hello, my name is Julie from Les Amis, and welcome to the vlog. Um, I have a French flag. Just thought I'd point that out. Also, I am currently on my bed. So if I fall over, that's why. Also, if I do fall over, I promise I'll put it in the video somewhere. Because I have a feeling you'll enjoy seeing it, and this way you'll feel less bad knowing that I was the one who fell this time. So, this round's video is about if we could change one thing in the world starting tomorrow, what would it be? I have a bit of a bone to pick with manufacturing companies. You know, the ones that make like half the stuff at Target and basically everything at Best Buy? Do you know when you go to the store and you buy headphones, batteries, pens, or really any small electronic component, and you bring it home and it is trapped in a plastic prison from which it is impossible to release it from, alright? Something like this, with the edges and the- this is a blister pack, alright? This is called a blister pack, and blister packs are evil, alright? I know it's not a big change, but my change would be to get rid of these fucking things, alright? Because I hate them. I hate them so much, okay? <laughs> I don't hate many things, but I hate blister packs. And like, oppression. But mostly blister packs. Okay, so I should probably give a better definition of blister packs than just like, evil incarnate. So there are two different things that are both called blister packs. They are um, either the uh, the small containers of medicine that have like the backs you can pop in and out. And those aren't that bad actually, they're, they're kind of useful. Or they are the worst freaking invention known to mankind, and it's basically two pieces of plastic heat sealed around an object. Which just, who thought that was a good idea, alright? Blister packs are pretty much impossible to open without wanting to destroy the world out of pure frustration. And yes, there is actually a word for that semi-violent and completely incoherent rage people get trying to open these things. It's called rap rage. People end up getting injured and oftentimes breaking the product by attempting to physically tear open the packaging or opening it with something like a knife or a razor or an ice pick. This is a problem that people are having and no one's talking about it. And then after they've done this, the next big problem is people then cutting uh, or p slicing their hands open on the sharp edges of the packaging. Like, people get hurt from this. Like, hospital-worthy hurt. Sprains or pulling muscles or like, gashes that are, like, dang- like... <sighs> I'm just a little frustrated by all of this, if you couldn't tell. <sighs> Another big problem with- with- with, uh, with blister packs, they're not recyclable. Or at least, they're not easily recyclable. The- the- the medicine ones, with the cardboard or the foil in the back, those can't be recycled because they have more than one, uh, material with them, and it's really difficult to, like, separate them and then recycle the two bits differently. So if you, like, separate it yourself, you can do it, but most people aren't gonna do that, to be perfectly honest. And in other times, the, they'll use more than one type of plastic, which have to be recycled separately. Which just doesn't seem like a good idea for anybody. Like, there should either be ways to separate them so you could recycle them appropriately, or make them all out of the same thing so you could recycle it easily. And I'm not- I don't know- I, I'm not gonna say I know enough about manufacturing processes, that I know this is feasible or, uh, or possible. But I feel like there's an easier way to do it than what's going on. Absolutely with the, with the material stuff. And absolutely with the design. Blister packs were designed to prevent shoplifting. Because if you can't open a package in the store, you can't steal the, the product out of the package and walk out of the store with it. And yeah, this is like a noble cause or whatever, but people are getting hurt. Like, actually hurt. Not like, and I think the health of people is more important than a $5 pair of headphones. And maybe. Just maybe, there's a way to design them so they'll open more easily. Maybe a pull tab, or a perforation, or something that doesn't require f***ing stabbing it! There are other ways to go about this! Oh my god! It is 2014. We have been manufacturing things for a very long time. We can do better than this! Make better packaging, alright? Nah! Oh goodness! I'm okay! I am fine! Just, just give me a sec. I'm getting up, I'm getting up, I'm getting up. I'm back. Okay. If I could change one thing about the world, it would be getting rid of, getting rid of, getting... I'm a little turned around. 
I would get rid of blister packs. I would replace them with something that is recyclable, because all this plastic sitting in landfills just because it is two different types of plastic stuck together isn't helpful for anybody. And two, because they are dangerous. They are actually legitimately hurting people for no reason. And I don't think that should happen. Uh, so yeah, if I could magic up some brilliant inventors and manufacturers or whatever, that's what I would do. Because it's a small change, but one that I think would definitely impact the people that it's, that it's relevant to. Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Julie from Liz and Me, and if you like this video, you can like, comment, subscribe, interact with us. We want to hear from you. Uh, and there's something else I'm supposed to say. Oh yeah, have a great day. You, you, the person watching this, everybody watching this, have a wonderful day. Because you deserve it. Bye. I figured, because we all met because of our weirdly French last names, that this was an appropriate background for a video. And since I just got this, I have it.